Hey, hey, let's um, see who can pop in. You had a little bit of warning, which I thought was fun. Um, basically, I felt like I wanted to notify you, and I thought more people would get the notification for live. There's a really funny thing on my personal Facebook page, personal Facebook wall. You definitely want to check that out because when you find it, you will not be able to stop laughing. Pretty guaranteed. Anyway, if you're here, let me know. Um, I have to share. So, hey, how are you? Um, I have to share something that uh, happened today while I was speaking to a client. She's a little shy, so she wasn't really ready or willing to come on, but she agreed to write to me what we talked about so that I can share it with you. And so powerful. And the reason why I wanted to do it today is because it's going to help you for Thanksgiving morning and just the concept of planning for gatherings or a holiday or any sort of challenge that's coming up. And it's something that I talk about with journaling. So before I jump into what my um, fabulous client said today, and if you hear not just the thumbs up, because it's hard for me to see your face floating across, but do let me know who you are by writing a comment. And um, this is going to be quick. Hey, Alyssa. Oops, sorry, I should have done that before I went live. But anyway, cool stuff. So the most important thing that we can do um, is journal, literally. It is, the power of it is dramatic. And when we talk about journaling, it's basically asking yourself a couple of questions in the morning and at night, not just journaling necessarily what happened or what's gone, okay? So what do we talk about in the morning? It's setting your intention for the day and gratitude. What do you want to accomplish today? Whether it's with your health, with your business, with your work, with your children, with uh, whatever's going on. Um, and setting an intention, you know, we're all working on our health here. So setting an intention about your health. Hi, Shoshi. Um, so you kind of want to do that. I'm having a healthy day today. I'm planning on making really good choices wherever I go. And I'm also planning on doing X, Y, and Z when I'm so tempted or something like that. And then at night, you pretty much want to journal what went well so you can celebrate that and create new pathways. And again, some more gratitude because it just works. Anyway, so one of the most important things that we could all do Thanksgiving morning, and I was reading a blog today about how to plan for holidays or plan for gatherings of any kind. And the very first thing that was written in that blog was set an intention. And these were her words. I think her name is Kim Carr, uh, K-I-M-C-A-R-R. -R. Before I go to a party, I always set an intention. How do I want it to go? What do I want to have happen? It could be to connect with as many people as I can while still being mindful, to eat slowly, not allow my glass to be refilled for me, and so on. And then she quotes, as Les Brown says, very famous motivational speaker, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So you start with your intention, and then you work from there. And that just spoke to me. And it's basically what I encourage everybody to do with your morning journal. And your journal can be a journal. It can be write a note to yourself on your hand. It could be um, sending yourself an email that maybe you'll see later. It could be writing it anywhere. Post it. Take a picture of it. Put it on your phone. Whatever is going to work for you is what you want to be doing. And um, one, of, one of my uh, dear, dear, dear clients, I love her. I work with her for a long time. Um, she lost the bulk of her weight and is just was struggling a little bit. And um, with her permission, she wrote this to me so that I can read it. Um, and here we go. I've tried to restart, quotes, to get back on track, quotes, on and off for the last four to six weeks. I couldn't string together more than three days on plan. Why? I didn't know. At Miriam's suggestion, I started journaling on my phone. For me, it was more of a diary than a food journal, which is what we're looking for, and it has helped me re-engage mentally. I have been listening to the Habits of Health podcasts to help me refocus. And if you don't know how to get those, PM me immediately and I will help you get them. Um, and they're live Wednesday nights at 8.30. And if you're connected to me, you do get a notification on that. 
um, and I write how I'm feeling, what my challenges are for the upcoming day or hour, and identifying and journaling those challenges has helped me plan for them and stay on plan. So for me, that was like my happy moment of the day. Seriously, nothing that any client can say. Um, more than I've had a successful time, it's I love hearing what made it successful. And you know that if we work together, we talk about that a lot. What shifted? What changed? What kept you on track? What made you think differently this week? And that's really the focus of what I get to do as a health coach. So with that, um, I do plan on being back tomorrow. I'm preparing a very long list of, um, not really a long list, but let's call it a comprehensive list of tips to help you get through the holidays uh, with confidence. Because we're never, we always think, oh, it's okay, it doesn't matter, I'm fine. We're never happy when we have what we didn't want to have. So I want everybody to go to bed very happy Thursday night. I want you to pat yourselves on the back. I want you to feel really good about the decisions that you made. And it doesn't mean being perfect. It means following through with your plan. So with that, um, tomorrow's a little bit, I know, crazy day for a lot of people, getting ready, planning, preparing, cooking, whatever you're doing. But I do plan on coming in live. And um, if you're hearing this and you're not sure how to tackle the challenges that may be hitting you, reach out to your coach. And if you don't yet have a coach, reach out to me. I will set up a call and I will connect with you. So with that, I wish you a good night and thank you for joining. And if you're catching it on the recording, thank you for listening. Good night. Bye.